If this had happened in the United States, nobody would be talking about Rivian, nobody would be talking about Lucid, and the stock price of this company would be probably on par, if not potentially greater, than Tesla's. This is the biggest electric vehicle and battery news story of 2021. None of the videos that I've done so far have done justice to exactly what is happening at BYD. You know, really, when you look at the numbers like this, like I'm going to present them to you right now, it all looks quite incredible. In fact, so amazing that it's almost beggar's belief of how BYD have done what they've done within 12 months. And well, no one is really even talking about it. When you see these numbers, I think you'll be as shocked as what I was when I put them all together. Hello, my friends. Welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome to all the new subscribers to the channel. I think there's been nearly 20,000 of you over the last month. Great to have you here. Now, remember, if you'd like to support the channel, it does make a big difference. You can jump onto our Patreon account and support the channel. There is four different tiers of support. And if you want to support us on the highest tier, you actually get merchandise, you get apparel and other stuff with that tier. I'll put a link in the description below to our Patreon account. I'm just going to get straight into the numbers, okay? Now, in 2020, BYD deployed 12.6 gigawatt hours of lithium batteries. 12.6 gigawatt hours. In 2021, in the first 11 months, BYD has deployed 32.87 gigawatt hours. So BYD has nearly tripled its deployment from last year in only 11 months. Now, based on BYD's numbers last year, December was its best month. So if we actually add what we're going to likely get in December, which is around about 5 gigawatt hours of deployment, that means BYD will have deployed 37.8 gigawatt hours or more than triple the amount of batteries that it actually got out of its factory doors in 2020. Now, I don't know of another company that has been able to achieve that in 12 months anywhere on the planet. How on earth did they deploy triple the amount of batteries this year versus last year? It's insane. Now, if we just take BYD's battery deployment from September, October and November of this year, those three months are 10% more than BYD deployed over the entire year last year. Just those three months are 10% more than BYD deployed for the entire year last year. That's hard for my brain to understand. How does a company that's been established for 23 years in the space of one year just completely transform itself? I don't think anyone fully understands exactly what is going on here. This is just a staggering figure. Imagine if BYD was able to do this again next year. If they were able to do this again next year, they would be the second largest battery company on the planet and the largest electric car company on the planet, full stop. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but even if it only doubles next year, that would put BYD in an incredible position and would mean if you'd invested in the stock, pretty good chance that stock price is going to double as well. Now, just a little fun fact here. In 2020, BYD deployed 10,500 electric buses worldwide, 10,500. The number this year has been quite a lot lower. And there's a reason for that. BYD doesn't have the battery capacity, I believe right now, to deploy as many electric buses. What happens with a bus? It takes a lot of batteries, right? Well, BYD can make a lot more cars, and maybe a lot more profit, if they sell electric vehicles instead of buses. So they've downscaled the number of buses they've deployed this year by about 50% in order to increase their electric car sales by nearly triple. They've nearly tripled their output this year. That is without adding the month of December. Now, if we actually add in the month of December this year, let's just assume that we BYD sells the same exact number of electric cars in December as they did in November, which is probably unlikely considering the fact that December is always their best year for sales. And if we also consider the fact that BYD has increased its electric car sales figures by 10,000 every single month for six straight months, but let's just ignore all that. Let's just put November sales figures in for December this year. 
That means the BYD will have sold 591,000 electric vehicles, almost all of those in China alone, in 2021. And that is way more than three times more than they sold in 2020. In fact, if you triple 2020's figures, you come up with a total of 537,000. But BYD will have sold at least 591,000 in 2021, and probably more than 600,000 based on their current run rate and the fact that December is always their best month. 600,000 electric vehicles, almost all of those sold in China alone, more than tripled their electric car sales in one year. And guess what? The media is hardly even talking about them. The media seems disinterested. They're more interested in Lucid. They're more interested in Rivian. They're more interested in these car companies that have done nothing. To be honest, don't get me wrong. Sure, Lucid and Rivian, they'll do great things. But as of yet, as of this point in history, they have delivered barely any cars at all. BYD delivered 600,000 electric vehicles this year, right? Tripled its battery deployment. They make the batteries themselves. They make the cars themselves. They're vertically integrated. They make everything that goes into the car. They're more vertically integrated than Tesla. And the mainstream media don't even care, barely even talk about them. Imagine if this company was in America. Imagine if this company was located in California. What would the stock price be worth? Now what I want you to do is just imagine where this company will be in three years time. Just imagine where this company will be in 2030. Now my prediction of BYD manufacturing 7 million electric cars, all of those in one year alone, the year of 2030, doesn't seem so wild after all. My prediction that BYD would be the equal second largest automaker in the world in 2030 actually doesn't seem so far-fetched if you look at this data. Now, if you want to know a bit more about BYD, I have a new video coming called The 10 Things You Need to Know About BYD. And I'll put a bunch of links in the description below about some of the most important videos I've made about BYD this year. I've made lots of them. I won't put them all in there. I think there's probably 30 of them by now. But I'll put the top 10 in there. And you can check those out to learn more about the company that you should definitely at least consider investing in. Thanks for watching the channel once again. I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.